Hey everyone, I'm Amanda. I'm gonna be taking you through this week's patient update. Let's get started. Starting with some good news, we had two releases this past week. Both are juvenile Swainson's hawks. One came from the Idaho Falls region and the other from Hoback, Wyoming. In the first video, you can see Swainson's hawk 83 being released in Hoback, Wyoming. And in this next video, you can see Swainson's hawk 812B in Ammon, Idaho being released. We are really excited to get these two birds out just in time for migration. We do still have three more Swainson's hawks that are working very hard to get ready for release so that they can migrate to South America. First up in current patients, we have Great Horned Owl 107. This owl was found locally in Jackson, unable to fly away. Upon intake, we found a metacarpus fracture. As you can see in this x-ray, the fracture goes fully through, affecting both the minor and major metacarpus. For these injuries, we typically treat in one of two ways. We can surgically pin the fracture or we can splint it in the proper alignment without pinning. We opted to use the latter treatment as it is less invasive and the fracture has relatively good alignment and should hopefully heal well. This patient is also dealing with emaciation and is slowly being reintroduced to food. Next, we have Great Gray Owl 104. This relatively rare species came to us from Kilgore, Idaho after being trapped in a barbed wire fence. This species of owls is particularly prone to being trapped in barbed wire as they tend to swoop low over fields looking for small rodents at dusk and dawn. Luckily, the finders were able to extract the bird successfully, um, but there was still a piece of barbed wire that had punctured the wing as seen in this x-ray that we extracted once the bird arrived here. Luckily, it only left a small damage, a little hole in the wing, and it should heal pretty nicely. As a reminder, if you do ever find a bird entangled in barbed wire, you should cut the wire and never any part of the bird, including the feathers. We have seen some injuries from barbed wire become much more severe due to the extraction process. Our next patient is Northern Saw White Owl 714. This small owl came to us back in July after being found in a dog's mouth. We found a femur fracture, which was surgically repaired, and this patient has been on a long road to recovery, but it is finally ready to return to the wild. While the fracture has been orthopedically sound for some time, we wanted to make sure this patient was live prey tested many times. It came to us as only a few months old and likely did not learn many hunting skills in the wild. After catching live prey multiple times, this bird will be released tomorrow. In this video, you can see this bird is being fitted with a leg band prior to its release. Lastly, we have Swainson's Hawk 822B. This Swainson's Hawk from Ammon, Idaho was another victim of a dog attack and suffered from a fractured ulna originally. The fracture has healed well and this bird was moved to our flight barn just a few days ago. Already this bird's flight is looking very symmetrical and strong and we should be releasing this bird very soon. That's all we've got for this week. Thanks so much for watching. Remember, if you want to do your part to keep wild birds wild, you can visit our website at tetonraptorcenter.org to make a donation, or you can click the link below to donate directly. Thanks so much. Bye.